to repetition, let's talk about what is the difference between active and passive studying techniques. You have probably used the passive study techniques at one point or another. Sure, they are easy to do, but how useful are they? Passive study techniques include underlining or highlighting your textbook or rewatching your lectures. These techniques are easier to do, but relying on these strategies can make it more difficult to recall that material later on, especially when you're cramming for a last minute exam. On the other hand, you have active studying. Active study techniques include quizzing yourself with flashcards, answering practice questions, or discussing material with your classmates. Even though these tasks may take longer, they are a more efficient way to retain information and truly test your knowledge. Now that we know the difference between active and passive studying, let's talk about what space repetition is. Space repetition is a type of active learning that is mostly completed with flashcards. It focuses up on repeating the material on certain intervals until that material is stored in your long-term memory. On the slide, I have a graph. This is called the curve of forgetting. After attending your lecture or just learning something new, we usually tend to forget it very quickly. This is shown by the blue line. However, looking at the pink lines, notice how with every repetition we start to retain more information? This is ultimately what space repetition is for, making sure you know all the right answers for your exams. So, how do we fight the curve of forgetting? Here's a step-by-step -step guide on how to use space repetition in your studying. Step one, gather questions, definitions, anything you can get your hands on regarding your lecture material. The more you find, the more you have to work with. Step two, start thinking about some questions you can ask yourself about the topic. What can you take away from it? What do you consider the most important? If you have a study guide or sample questions, base your own study questions off of those. Step three, write those questions and answers down. You can write them on physical flashcards or you can use online resources like Quizlet or Anki. Step four, decide on a schedule to practice on. After a lecture, reread your notes. Do they make sense? Would you be able to explain it to someone else? If you do not feel comfortable with the material, consider reviewing it again the next day. However, if you do feel comfortable, you can choose to review the material at the end of the week. Ultimately, the whole point is to make sure you review the material depending on how confident you feel on answering those questions you created. This sounds like a lot of work, doesn't it? Setting up the schedule, keeping track of all those dates, shouldn't there be an easier way to study? Have no fear, Anki is here. Anki is very similar to Quizlet. The only difference is that they have a feature for space repetition embedded within their app. What does that mean though? In this example, I am sharing one of the decks of flashcards I made for one of my classes. After flipping the card, I am confronted by four different options based on how I feel like I did answering the question. As you can see, there are numbers on top of these choices. These numbers represent how long it will be before the question will be asked again. This will be repeated over and over until you decide to end the study session. Anki is very user-friendly and, the best part, it is completely free. To download Anki for yourself, you can go to apps.ankiweb.net and download it on your own computer. The link will be in the description below. There is no setup required, and once you download it, you can go ahead and add cards to your deck. Hopefully this video can help you get organized and ready for exams or finals you may have. Good luck, Mountaineers!